Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna keep it fun, lighthearted, and juicy. So we're doing a 21 questions. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some juicy, personal questions. I basically have to either answer the question or take a shot. So things might get a little tipsy in here. I don't think I've ever done like a drinking video on my channel, so today's the first. Let's just get into it. All right, I'm gonna pour my shot. Yeah, we'll, we'll start some softballs. Some softballs? <laughs> Top three fall fragrances. Top three fall fragrances. Balenciaga Flor Botanica. Baccarat, of course. Try something fresh, so like Versace. I don't know what's my favorite fall fragrance. I wear all my fragrances at the same time. Okay. The red one I stand. A lady never tells. Woo, we're getting hard. What happened, softballs? Your favorite alcoholic drink? Tequila. Tequila, for sure. Yeah. French fries or sweet potato? French fries or sweet potato fries? If you know me, you know I'm gonna pick fries. Wait, French fries or sweet potato fries? French fries, that's actually my favorite food ever. Like. Being a vegetarian slash pescatarian, all I eat is french fries. What was the last thing you texted? What was the last thing I texted? Ah! Okay. Actually, 10 p.m. sounds good. LOL. Do I think I'll marry my current partner, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need a shot for that. I have served myself a little too much. Which is my least favorite sign and why I think they're my least favorite? My least favorite sign would be, I think it's a tie between Virgo and Taurus, period. Earth signs in general, excluding Capricorns. I love me a Capricorn, maybe because I'm a Capricorn moon, but Virgos and Tauruses, the problem that I have with them is that they're too stuck in their ways. Like, loosen up a little, boo. It's okay if things don't go your way. I'm gonna tell you guys, as a water sign, like, we just go with the flow, we move with the times, and earth signs, they just don't. They're just stuck, and they're stubborn, and it's their way or the highway, and I just don't got time for that. So, I think those two are my least favorite signs in general. And I know you guys are gonna come for me because I got a lot of Virgo followers, but specifically male Virgos and Taurus is least favorite. Come on. Best sign, I'm gonna go ahead and say Scorpio. No, honestly, other than my sign, I truly wish if I was born into another sign, I would be an Aquarius, a Capricorn, or an Aries. I love, I like those signs. Or even a Sagittarius, like all those signs across the board are fun, cool, and just so opposite of me. So, those are my favorites. Someone offered you a million dollars to break up with your boyfriend, would you do it? To break up with my partner? A million dollars? I'll do it for ten. I'll do it for free. If you didn't do YouTube or freelance, what would you be doing for your career? That's a great question. What I think I would be doing is I would probably be working at either maybe as like a PR in a PR agency. I went to school to become like a news anchor slash TV anchor, so I studied broadcasting, but Definitely just something in entertainment, something media related, social media related, but maybe not in front of the camera, but more so behind the camera, because I do enjoy that aspect of it all. So maybe even like managing someone or just anything in entertainment. Do you have a WAP? Do I have a WAP? <laughs> Baby! <laughs> They came from my Instagram sadness. Okay, yes. I mean, I definitely feel like when I post any type of quote, either I have been through it, I'm going through it, or I know people who are going through it. So every time I post anything that's emotional, you guys always tell me that you're going through the same thing in one way or another. So if I post something that has to do with like emotions, it's not always relationship-based because you'd be surprised in my career how many times I feel like I've gotten either played or mistreated. So a lot of times it could be about friends, relationships, or even career. I'm doing. 
My mom is awesome. My mom is honestly my favorite per person on this earth. Not because she's my mom. I feel like anyone who meets my mom is just like touched and just remembers her forever. She's honestly such an amazing person to everyone. And she is doing okay. I'm not gonna lie and say she's doing great. I'm not gonna say that because she's not, but you know, she has her days, she's hanging in there. She's literally the strongest person you will ever meet. So I miss her every day. I talk to her every single day. I have to FaceTime her. If I don't, I'm not complete. I know you guys wanna see her. Trust me, I wanna see her more. But unfortunately right now we're a little bit far from each other. But she talks about you guys all the time. She's asking you about you. She misses you. And yeah, she's doing okay. Your favorite curse word? <sighs> There's so many. Well, actually, I don't curse here on YouTube. So I guess you guys wouldn't know that I do have a little bit of a potty mouth. I would say... Yeah. Spanish I don't really curse in Spanish. Wait, do I really curse? Do I ever say... No. Wait, what do I? What do you guys say in Spanish? Any curse words? That's <laughs> Mac, I love you. <laughs> now, what do Peruvians say? Some weird. <laughs> Give me a Peruvian curse word right now. Miami or New York? New York, but with my mom here. Best relationship advice you can give? I don't think you should be asking me that. <laughs> relationship advice? I don't know about that. I feel like people can give great relationship advice, but don't take it themselves. So then like, what's really the point of giving that advice? If you're not taking it, chances are the other person isn't taking it either. So we're all just in this like trial and error, learning conundrum. All of us, we're all learning. I feel like people who are married are still learning. And so like, what is relationship advice? My biggest pet peeve, Okay, so I don't, I mean, I guess that you would consider a pet peeve, but I don't like it when people chew loudly. So I have like this really bad, like, I wouldn't even say it's like a phobia, but I just cannot stand hearing someone chew their food. If you have your mouth open while you're eating, I cannot eat next to you at all. Yeah. What I like the most about my personality is that it's 100% always the same. No matter who I meet or where I'm at in life, you're always gonna get Five hours later. One eternity later. Kind of love hate being such an extreme person. Dating apps. I love them for everyone but myself. I don't know what it is. I've seen so many people have these like successful love stories through Tinder, Bumble, and Match, but would I get on one? I don't think so. I just feel like I want to meet someone organically and just naturally. I don't know. Maybe maybe in the future. Never never say never, but right now I don't think it's for me. What's the craziest, most daring thing you've ever done? The craziest, most daring thing I've ever done. I think honestly moving to New York alone, I wouldn't say it was daring, but I would say it definitely shocked people because I'm so close to my family and my mom specifically, like moving to New York without anyone, just like coming back, even though it's always been home for me, just coming back alone, was kind of a bold move. So I think that was kind of crazy, but I mean, I have never jumped off a plane, still wanna do that. Have you ever committed a crime? If so, what was it? <sighs> have you ever committed a crime? actually 17 but really really close to being 18 and I got really upset at myself for not waiting until I turned 18 because I was so close and it just would have made me feel so much better my mom's watching this I'm sorry <laughs> I want this to know to this day I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better and I'm kind of afraid to get up <laughs> I mean I didn't take that many shots but I hope you enjoyed getting a little tipsy with me and getting to know me a little bit better I'm down to do these kinds of videos I feel like they're fun and you get to know me more so and I get to know you guys more with those questions. Loki. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.